Hi, I'm Vishy from the School of Continuous Improvement. Um, in this in this presentation, I'm going to uh, I'm I'm going to be talking about financial measures. Uh, so we will be training on the different financial measures that are used with perspective of a Lean Six Sigma project. And uh, these are the six most popular financial measures. Of course, you could have many more, but more often than not, you would find these six uh, measures being used in uh, in any Lean Six Sigma project. The first one, as you see, is revenue growth, which shows the difference in revenues uh, when you compare uh, financial year or fiscal year with the fiscal year. Um, then you see market share. Uh, so let me just uh, use my uh, my laser pointer so that you'll be able to you'll be able to understand this clearly. So that's market share. And uh, market share is, is represented either in terms of revenue or in terms of the number of clients or customers. So you could compare the, um, the number of customers that you have versus the number of customers in the market um, between, between years. So you could, either, um, you, you could either show this metric in terms of whole numbers or percentages. Cost of quality percentage. This is cost of quality divided by the total revenue, the total sales to the company. Um, most of us would know cost of quality is the summation of uh, internal failure cost, uh, external failure cost, appraisal cost, and prevention cost. Uh, net present value. Net present value is defined as the the amount which which uh, which discounts or which factors in all the present and future inflows of cash versus the cost investment that has been made. Uh, return on investment. This is simple, which is uh, if you if you invest, let's say a dollar, um, how much do you do you get in return? What are the benefits out of that uh, investment? And then you have a beta, which is in earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. That's that's also a financial measure that that is that is used in a lot of projects. So I'm going to use the help of an Excel sheet here and try to explain uh, these uh, these measures out here. So that's the Excel sheet that I have. As you can see, the revenue for the company in uh, fiscal year 2015 was about uh, uh, two two uh, two million dollars, uh, presumably so. And then in 2016, you were about 2.25 million dollars. That's a difference of about 12 well, compared. Um, between the fiscal years uh, and the target was 20% so obviously the revenue growth has not managed to achieve the target so this can signal uh, you know a project for uh, improvement of revenues market share we we gained about uh, sorry this is not in dollars it's in uh, it's in whole numbers so we we gained about 5000 new customers um, when you compare uh, between fiscal year 2015 and 2016 there's a difference of four percent where the company had a target of ten percent and similarly if you see the cost of quality has uh, increased from one hundred seventy five thousand dollars to two hundred thousand um, dollars the difference being fourteen point two nine percent where the target had to be um, no more than five percent increase and finally you have the EBITDA which declined here uh, year on year, and that shows a negative 14.29 percent, which uh, you know, which the company forecasted that it should not decline more um, more than five percent or negative five percent. So obviously, all these will will indicate some kind of a process improvement opportunity or a project improvement opportunity. Fine. You see, net present value has been shown as a dash here, and that's because I have uh, shown the calculations here. You see, the cost of uh, Doing something is about one hundred thousand dollars. The benefit for year one is fifty thousand, seventy-five thousand, and one hundred and twenty-five thousand for year three. The rate being at twelve percent. I'm going to use the formula is equal to NPV, which is in Excel. First, I'm going to select the rate, which is twelve percent, and then I'm going to select the cost that's there, and then I'm going to select all the benefits like here, and I would find that my net present value of this um, uh, of this little project that I, I plan to do is about $83,397, which means you, um, um, if you if you invest $100,000 in, in cost, uh, by the end of the three years, you um, that would get discounted to about a, uh, about a plus of $83,397. This is the net value that we will have in our hands. That's about it from me for this video. If you have any questions, please write into Vishy at the rate school of CI.org.